What's up, YouTube? I just looked at this Texas versus Michigan game. Uh, a lot of people predicted, you know, uh, Texas to win. Uh, I was one of the few people that think, you know, that they was going to, you know, win. And um, boy, did they! Um, Michigan, man, they 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 lost a lot of players, but what we saw today, uh, that's pretty much uh, that's unexcusable. Um, quarterback that came in, uh, what's his name? I'm gonna read off this. Uh, Warren, uh, this guy, man, he, he just couldn't get it done. The offense looks very, very shaky. Um, they still got Donovan Edwards, but he was only able to get 41 yards on the ground rushing. Um, yeah, Michigan definitely lost a lot of players, and it doesn't help that, you know, a lot of people, you know, trying to jump in on them, telling them that they was cheating and stuff like that. But, uh, Definitely a huge step down from last year's team. Um, defensively, I thought Michigan's defense was going to be really, really good still this season. Still not good. Uh, I mean, wasn't good. Um, Texas did whatever they wanted to do pretty much. Um, Texas, let me see, they had a total of 389 total yards. Um like I said, pretty much did whatever they wanted to do. Uh, let me see. They had 19 first down versus uh, Michigan. Michigan was able to get 13, but, you know, that was real, real late in the game. Uh, like I said, the, the score was 31-12. to 12. Uh, Michigan just couldn't get anything done offensively, man. And uh, I don't know if Michigan has another guy or somebody that's more fluid at the quarterback position, but uh, – they just couldn't get anything done. Texas defense is really, really good. Uh, I felt like Texas secondary might be a weak spot, but uh, they was able to get two interceptions. So uh, Texas looks really, really good. Uh, they're definitely, I feel like, going to be a playoff team. Uh, Quinn Ewers, he threw the ball for 246 yards passing with three touchdowns. Uh, wide receivers, man, for Texas, man, just they're very, very talented. They're very, very deep. And um, Dejan Blue was able to get out there and play it. Uh, some good snaps, man. Uh, Texas just looks really, really good. Um, definitely going to be a force in the SEC this year. Uh, we'll have to see. They still have big games going forward. You know, they, they got to uh, host Georgia um, later on in the season. But uh, Steve Sarkeesian has this team playing at a very, very high level right now. Um, a team that was able to make it to the playoffs, you know, uh, lost to Washington last season, but uh, Texas, man, uh, I expected them to win this matchup, but I didn't think they was going to do it the way they did. Uh, Michigan looks very, very uh, – they look bad right now. I'm just going to call it what it is. Like I said, I thought they was going to be able to, you know, hang on the defense a little bit, you know, to, for the offense to settle down, but uh, they weren't able to do anything. Let me just look at the game cat. Let me see. Box score. Yeah, Clint Lewis, 246 passing yards. Um, Receiving-wise, Helm, Gunner Helm, he had 98 yards receiving with a touchdown. Uh, Matthew Golden had 41 yards receiving with a touchdown. Jaden Blue, 37 yards receiving. Like I said, be able to put those running backs out wide and be able to catch out the backfield, man, is very, very lethal for a defense. And um, Michigan just didn't have an answer for it. Um, look at the total. Receiving yards, let me see. Yeah. 246 receiving yards, and then Texas actually rushed for 143 yards on the ground as well. So, like I said, man, this Michigan defense, man, uh, I don't know what happened with them. You know, maybe just Texas offense is really, really that good. But uh, everybody was hyping up Michigan's defense and talking about how good they was going to be, but didn't show up. So, um, this is a bad loss at home. They get embarrassed like this. Uh, what is Michigan going to do going forward? You know, um, Sharon Moore has his work cut out for him. Uh, and their schedule, I haven't looked at their schedule, but uh, I know, of course, they're going to have to play Ohio State later on in the season. But uh, they better find something quick offensively, man, if they want to be able to compete. Uh, what do you guys think? You know, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tight.